Oi, new series, monthly munchies. Me and the cousin go munch some food. I'm running late, so I'll just let the voiceover explain the rest. No joke, I actually got sick the day after we made the video. But yeah, man, basically me and a cousin were like, hey, you know, let's do something a little special because, you know, Ramadan's starting up. So basically we're like, ah, oh, let's do this thing called monthly munchies. You know, we go out, see who can eat more food since we both enjoy it. And then, yeah, we might make it into a little baby series. So basically that's what we're doing today. The place we decided to go for our first monthly munchies was a place we both enjoyed called King Buffet. King Buffet is an Asian buffet, but boy, they got options when it comes to food. I'll speak on that more in a little bit. When you walk into King Buffet, you're greeted with a big waiting space that looks low-key quite fancy. And as my cousin mentioned, Captain. Once inside, you'll notice that King Buffet has a lot of seating. I'm talking like private sections, which is just a normal section with a wall, circular tables that fit up to like eight people, and then a bunch of booths and tables. I was gonna record more of like the whole environment, but I didn't want to film randos eating, and you know, it's just been kind of weird. And now that we're being seated, let's get a pregame interview with the opponent. All right, boys, monthly munchies episode one. King Buffet, how we feeling? I'm going for the King Munch. I would be love, have some shame. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that, too. How you feeling? I'm boo. I'm good, man. You I'm. Get, you think you're prepared for this? I yeah. Came with the bigger sweater to fill I out, know. Man. Hey, I got a big shirt on, man. <laughs> the only thing I will say is I didn't eat anything beforehand to prep my gut a little bit. Yeah, me neither. All right, bitch. So to even the gym yesterday, I was fasting so. on a you know like type B. You what? I was fasting so. on a you know like type B. So two different types of preparations. There's yeah. A little bit of the mental over the physical. That's what I'm saying. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're just doing straight goodie then, isn't it? That's some stuff. Fair enough. If you would like, you can just match whatever we're going. I mean, I'll match whatever you're doing. I'll match whatever you're doing. Ah, you, this is your, yeah. this is your spot. This is your spot. We agree. We said, yo, King of Faith, your spot. All right, yeah. Let the people know. I am the, I'm the favorite going on. Muslim beast. The underdog. Crazy. At a buffet. Oh! Oh, man, I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, all right, man. All right, man, pregame interview not too shabby. But like I said, bro, King Buffet has a lot of food. I'm talking sushi, Cajun, American, with some Asian next to it. They also had a full Asian food section. There was just people there, so I didn't want to interrupt them. They got a fruit bar with a chocolate fountain, which I think is super wavy. A dessert bar as well. Couldn't get there, you know, people. And whatever the heck this mix is on screen. And unfortunately, King Buffet isn't halal, so no meat munching today. I know, disappointing. So with monthly munchies, we're basically going to be matching each other's eating to see who can eat more. But since it's a buffet, we have a basis of two stir fry plates and then two buffet plates where we match. And whoever can eat more after that basically wins because, bruh, that's low key a lot of food. But yeah, man, with that being said, let's get into plate one. Alright, boys, so plate before the actual Mongolian stir fry, we got garlic bread, pizza, potatoes, french fries, crab rangoon, seafood cheese, salad. seafood salad, <laughs> stuffed mushrooms, french fries, and a spring roll. Let's eat. Let's go. Oh man, you gotta focus. Alright, so before you get in the comments, type in some ew, that looks disgusting. Ew, what is that? And for these emojis, plus man, when you haven't eaten all day, that DiGiorno's turns into gourmet real quick, bruh. <laughs> and with that being said, bruh, this first plate was light work. I'm chowing through everything like I'm supposed to. The only thing that did give me a tough time was this cheesy seafood salad. I literally only got it to make it harder for my cousin. Everything else tasted how it typically should, and I wasn't disappointed. Now, I thought I'd record a little video to show off me finishing plate number one, but I guess I didn't, but there is the proof right there you see it on the plate there's nothing left you know what i'm saying so now let's move on to plate two the stir fry plate they really skimped on what it the that's what i'm saying they really skimped on it bro our plates look completely different i can't <laughs> like color wise no yeah. everything wise size wise too size yeah, man. Nah, i'm ready Ah uh, snap, the stir fry plate. The way you get the stir fry is actually pretty wavy. It's like a build your own plate station. And I actually showed footage of it earlier, but you guys probably missed it. So it starts with the veggies, and my go-to veggies are carrots, broccoli, and green bell pepper. Next is their seasoning station, and I load my veggies with Cajun and red crushed peppers. You know, I like it a little spicy. It's just really good, to be honest. Once you're past the seasoning station, it's your protein section, where you can choose between chicken, beef, and fish, with the fish being shrimp, crab, and I think squid. I'm typically rocking with a lot of shrimp, but they didn't have any when we went up there, so I had to rock with the crab a pro move once you get your protein go back and season it next is the choice between udon noodles or regular noodles you gotta double up on the regular ones for sure for sure and the final main step is the sauces where they got options such as soy sauce volcano sauce ginger sauce hot oil etc i rock a full cup of hot oil then you just put it on the chef's counter where the chef will give you a little tag that'll let you know when your food's ready and then that boy just whips it up in the middle of the building for you i wasn't sure exactly how much storage i had left on my camera so i'll keep turning it on and off so right now i'm gonna skip to us finishing up our plates and then we're gonna get on a plate three all right ladies, we just finished up our stir fry bowls and before we made this one, we've got another one. And now that other one has made its way over. 
got better proportions now. Better proportions, better proportions. for sure. <laughs> After this, we're gonna have, we would have done one normal plate and then two stir fries. So then we're gonna do one more normal plate and see how we feeling. See how we feeling. See how we feeling. Yeah, man. So plate three is another stir fry plate. And the pro tip I was talking about was when you get your first plate, go make another one before you eat so that when you finish, the next plate's ready. But yeah, man, plate three is where it starts to get a little tough. Not because I'm full, but more so the oil is starting to get to me. In the first plate, there was a lot of oil on the noodles and not so much the veggies. So the veggies kind of canceled out and made it easier. But here, man, the butter just whipped everything together, which is his job. So I'm not knocking it. And the oil was on the veggies and the noodles. So I never really caught a break unless I like caught a sip of water. A lot of oil in this jaw, man. I'm not even going to lie. You know, it was starting to get to me. When it comes to being full, I would say I'm at like a 60, 65, maybe 70. So I could go for another plate, but I would definitely not mind stopping. But you know, for sake of competition, you got to keep going. Before we get into the mid game interview and plate four, if y'all could, man, please subscribe. You know, Road to 1K Type B. It would really help out the channel. And if y'all are enjoying the content, Man, don't forget to like, you know, it helps out on the algorithm, this type, whatever, whatever. But yeah, man, with that being said, let's just get into the interview. All right, sir. A little break interview. How we feeling? Three plays deep. Skimmed on the first confident. one. Still feeling confident. Um, I do feel bad that I had a little bit of advantage on the first play, but that's the game, folks. Don't hit the player, hit the player. That is the game. And I'm loving the game. Right <laughs> Beforehand, when we started, I'd say my confidence maybe dipped two points. Probably Muslim Beast. Plus 150, me, plus 200. Okay, Minus yeah. Right. Come on. All right, plebs, here's how plate five's looking. Got some garlic shrimp, a potato, crab rangoon, spring roll, bread loaf, stuffed mushrooms, and some za. Man, I could eat so much of this dish right now. And I stand on that hill, man. That DiGiorno's was hitting like nothing before. Yeah, man, though. Play four, very nice. The spring roll, delicious. The potato, oof. Sunk in that Cajun seasoning, fantastic. The stuffed mushrooms did their job. The bread was buttered nice, fluffy, aromatic. Not the right word, but you know what I mean, like pull apart. Mm, you know what I'm saying? The only bad part was the garlic shrimp. And when I mean bad, I'm saying it's just not as flavorful as the rest of the items on the plate. Just had a little bit of garlic and like the little sauce that it was stuck in. But other than that, everything else was great but if i really wanted to make this plate easier on myself i would have got rid of the bread and the potato because those are very heavy and i probably would have switched it out for like one or two more slices of pizza because i kid you not bro i could have had like 10 more of those pizza slices if i had nothing else because that pizza was just hitting when i was hungry you know what i'm saying speaking of hungry i was actually a lot more full than i expected going into plate four like once we finished this play bro it was terrible i was in pain the stomach was hurting i knew the opponent would want to eat a little bit more so i was like i wasn't ready i tried to sip some water to cool it down and let me just show you how we was feeling <laughs> thank you Perfect. we're gonna go one more plate and then we'll oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you appreciate it all right, boys. This is the final plate. This is like plate five, I think, of foods. Dessert plate, kind of cheeky. We got any clear? Two like fudge cake things. I don't know. And then ice cream. I got solid vanilla. That boy mixed. You know, no discrimination type. You how we feeling going into this? Good man. I mean, when in the Asian buffet, you gotta run it with the chopsticks. Oh, dude, it's nice. And it was for like the first three bites and then my stomach was like no 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 we not doing this right now not now you can't eat anymore and i was like man what the fat how am i like that's when i knew it was bad when my stomach was rejecting ice cream and saying you can't like this is the last thing you're eating period it doesn't help soothe down the stomach that's when i knew i was getting real full ice cream is great but literally after this i knew i couldn't touch a single other piece of food on my plate i was done this was it this was my last go so if he was able to eat something after this he won which is so sad to say and let's just see what happens finish up the ice cream had the clear and we're calling it quits i have these two little fudge thingies left and i was like ah, i'm not gonna overstuff myself for no extra reason so if he just finishes us off his two he's dubbed you know monthly munchies round one we need i like to thank the fans yeah i'll cut this short if you don't hurry up and eat. <laughs> this was for ice spice king munch Bro, this is delicious. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm so full. <laughs> That's the best speech you can come up with. Honestly, this is so good. Let's go for the second one. This one's for the second competition. Okay. So the first one was literally just Mrs. Munches. Meet me in two months. Meet me in two months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
All right, boys, that is gonna wrap up monthly munchies number, holy fats, number uno. Look, man, I know I lost, but the brother can eat, man. Why do you think we're doing this, man? Four plates deep, and he had space for a little more. I was, <laughs> that's gonna wrap it up for monthly munchies, bro. If y'all enjoyed, bro, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, you know, Road 1K Type B, and let me know what other restaurants or different things we should try and look out for for the next couple monthly munchies. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.